The museum opened in 1872. The main building is one of the world's largest art galleries. Our permanent collection contains over two million artworks, as well as an extensive holding of African, Asian, Oceanian, Byzantine, and Islamic art. Now here we are about to enter one of my favorite styles of painting. Who knows what style of painting this is? That's right. The impressionist artist didn't try to paint realistic pictures, but merely an impression of what they saw. Claude Monet said, try to forget what objects are before you, a tree, a house, a field. Merely think, here is a little square of blue, here an oblong of pink, here a yellow streak, and try to paint exactly as it looks to you, the exact shape and color, until it gives you your own impression of the scene before you. He saw something beautiful. But he led a tortured life, all the good ones did. Yeah, but look at those bold strokes of color and movement. It's so free. I could admire this all day. But I can't because I gotta go meet Dan. Have you told him yet? I shouldn't have to tell him. He should know. He needs to be told what he wants, what you want. I don't want to end up alone, like me. Oh, you always say you want to be left alone. I don't want to be left alone. I don't want to be alone. <sighs> I don't know what I would say. Just work it into the conversation. Say, honey, I feel a distance growing between us, and I need things to change. Keep it short, but honest. I don't call him honey. What do you call him? I call him Dan. Do you have any cute nicknames you call him? Mm. I still call him Danny. Danny, I... I feel a distance between us, and I feel like things need to change. He isn't really a Danny, is he? Forget it. I'm no, 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 no. That was good. No, but say need. Use okay. the word need. Yes. And look into his eyes. Okay. And hold his hand so that there's no question about what you want. Right. I need things to change. I need things to change. I gotta go. Okay. Oh, and hey, and wear something a little... You know, in case he doesn't listen. Have a nice evening, Mrs. Stover. Thanks, Harry. Nice shot. So, it might not be a bad idea for you to lay low for a little while. Lay low from who? Is there a problem? No, of course not, but it'd probably be better if I handled things so our stories line up. <laughs> Why wouldn't our stories line up? Well, they absolutely would, but there's no need to confuse things. You know, you and Anne should get away. Take a month or four. Should I be concerned? Mildly interested at most? Let me handle it, it's why I'm here. You said that the numbers were good. Absolutely, they were, but it's... But what? Someone is saying that they came up with the design before us. There's a very small lawsuit. It's nothing really, it's mostly paperwork and I'm sure it'll be fine. What if it's not? We tweak the design a little? 
Another cash call? How much? Let's not talk numbers. You're already having an off game. You said that this was a no-risk deal. <laughs> Nothing is no risk. You know that. Without talking numbers, how bad is it? You can't keep a good man down. You know how the story goes. You think a guy's lost it all, but then he comes back stronger and wiser and conquers the giant. No, I can't lose it all. Well, look at the bright side. You're young. You've got plenty of time to start over. With what? Uh, you have your health. My chest feels tight. You have a beautiful wife who loves you very much. That's worth all the money in the world. When Celia heard the news, she packed her bags and left me. That's why she left you? She said she didn't love me anymore, but I'm convinced that her feelings were influenced by the shrinking of my bank account. I understand why you didn't try the lamb. I don't eat lamb. Thank you. Yeah, but you never know unless you try. Um, you might love it. Mm -hmm. Danny, uh, sorry. Um, I just feel like there's a distance between us, you know? And um, you know how it's easy for people to just drift apart? Um, I feel like the, the question is, like, what do we, where do we go? Happy birthday! Oh, wow, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. Do you want some of this? Uh, no. Thank you. I just, I don't want to end up like that. You know, we don't spend any time together. Oh, well, we're here now. It's your birthday. Yeah, it's true. 35, seven years into my five-year plan. <laughs> I mean, we're not getting any younger. Why don't we do something spontaneous? Spontaneous? Oh, who knows what's out there, what, what adventures await us. Yeah, we, we could go to Italy or Paris, that could be. We could go somewhere we haven't been yet. Yeah? Yeah. Like where? You can take the boat out first, man. The Caymans. I, I don't, I don't live on a boat. <laughs> you never know unless you try. I, I don't like the water, so. That's the point of a boat. You're on the water, you're not I don't want to be in the boat. OK. What if we stay at your parents' place? Why? Why? Could be fun. I don't know. There's nothing to do there. It just seems exactly. It would be a total change of I pace. Just, I'm not ready, and I, I just, you know, my therapist said I would know when it's time, and I just, I don't feel like it's time. Yeah. Yeah. So. Sorry to interrupt, but your card's been declined. Uh, it's just not working. <laughs> Let me get to you. Um... What I'm trying to say um, is that I, I need, I, w I want things to change. I. Um. Sorry. Here, I'll pay cash. Um. Uh, I'm short. Do you have any cash on you? Just ten dollars. I just need to move some <clears throat> um, things around. I did what you said. I told him that I wasn't happy, that I wanted more. I don't think I said that. I said needed. Did you say needed? I don't know. I mean, there was a, a cake and this waitress with this hair, and she was all like, you know, in a boat. It sounded like you said boat. Yeah, as soon as I said change, he was on board. But I thought that's what you wanted. I don't know, I guess... I guess I just, like, wanted him to look at me the way that he used to, you know? I don't think he really even sees me anymore. What about a boat? Um, I think I'll go. I'm gonna call you tomorrow.
both need to hear this. I know what you're gonna say. We need to tighten the belt a little. Like no, not a little. Wait, what's he talking about? And you're out of money. I don't. <clears throat> I don't understand. You have no more money. What is he saying? You heard him. He knew about this. I don't know um, why you hired me. You won't listen to me yet. So you knew. You were busy. I didn't want to bother you. It... Okay. So, um, what do we do now? Liquidate. A few things. Now sell off everything you can to pay off your debt. Not everything. Got a list of your assets here. Furniture, boat, clothing, artwork. No. Okay, that her apartment will be completely empty. You're three months behind on rent. They want you out by the end of the month. Okay, you did this. You need to undo it. I will. I just need some time to get things going. Uh, I guess we can find a hotel and just... Yeah. I'm saying you have no money. No hotels? Yeah. No room service? Mm -hmm. No expensive dinners? No trips? Necessities. That's all. Okay. What are we supposed to do? Well, we just sell off a few things. I think we'll be fine. If you sell off everything you have, you should be able to pay off your credit cards. Okay. I wrote a check to the museum. Do we think that's gonna go through? No. No, it's not gonna go through. We have no money in our account. But they really need the funding. It's it's a really good cause. Yeah, what about us? Aren't we a good cause? Well, I'm being punished for being generous. No, no one's punishing you. It's just an unfortunate situation. Who do we know with money? What about your relatives in England? Oh, no. I haven't seen them for years. Have you asked your parents? You haven't told them. Hmm? How have you not told them? We are practically homeless. Technically, we're not homeless. We own a perfectly fine house. It's my house. Who left it to me? Real estate is considered community property. Besides, it should come from both of us. They consider you a daughter. You're such a baby. I just don't want to ruin the meal mom made. We'll tell them after. You'll tell them. Fine, I'll tell them. Danny, your father and I could not be more proud. You've become such a, a wonderful and successful young man. But most importantly, no matter how busy you get, you always take time for your family. And we are truly blessed. What about us? Well, today is about Danny. Thanks, Mom. Well, excuse me. Sorry, I'm not feeling very well. You should go check on her? Yeah. Anne's pregnant. She is? She got sick the minute she smelled the food. I mean, why else would she get up and leave just when we're sitting down to eat? Should we wait? The food's gonna get cold. <sighs> She's uh, not feeling well, but she said to go ahead and eat. Is she okay? And are you? I'm a mother, it's my sixth sense. I don't really want to talk about it, not in front of everybody. <laughs> well, we're not everybody. We're your family. Besides, nothing to be embarrassed about. I mean, we've all been through it. You know, I'm gonna go talk to her. Okay. Yeah. I'm really sorry if I ruined Dad's dinner. Oh. I don't usually cry. <laughs> I know it's wrong. Well, your hormones are changing, baby. That's all. 
It's just that Dan doesn't really understand that I can't just, like, pretend everything's fine when it's not, you know? Yes, he can be a little insensitive. That's his father. <laughs> I'm just, I guess I'm just not ready for my whole life to change, you know? Well, there will be a lot of sacrifice, but you're going to gain so much. When those little eyes look up at you for the first time. What, what little eyes? <laughs> the babies. <clears throat> Sorry, what baby? Your baby. No, 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 <laughs> there's, there's no baby. What do you mean there's no baby? <sighs> then, then why are you crying? Dan lost all of our money. And we are broke. How could you let this happen? He said there was nothing to be embarrassed of. There's nothing like having a baby in the house. They're not having a baby. They're broke. Eh, babies are expensive. What did you do? I didn't do anything. Yeah, maybe that's the problem. Who's the golden boy now? Okay, if everyone would stop talking, I will tell you. Anne wanted to say that we're in a financial situation that needs to be solved quickly in order to keep our apartment. What does that mean? It means we need a loan. Or you don't need an apartment on the Upper East Side. Jake, our financial advisor, said that if we just pay off our current debt and manage our finances, that we'll, we'll be fine. Wait. You told a complete stranger about this before you told us? Well, he's not a complete stranger, Mom. I hired him to watch over our money. Sounds like he's doing a wonderful job. Wait, you woke up one day and we're out of money? No, not exactly. There were cash calls and lawsuits and generous donations. And now all we have is this house that Anne's parents left her. Oh, well, then you can sell that and use the money to get back on your feet. We would, but Anne said she's not ready yet. How's the foundation? I don't know anything about the foundation, but the real estate market is good. And if you could just float us the money, as soon as we sell it, we'll pay you back. I could loan you the money. Oh, thank you. You don't know what a relief this is. But I'm not going to. Mom, we could lose everything. <sighs> We've made things too easy for you. It's time you learned a life lesson. I will. Just tell me what lesson you want me to learn. Your mother wasn't completely wrong when she said we'd been through it. Things weren't always easy, but... In time, we came to realize what was important, didn't we? I wouldn't want to take that time away from you and Anne. Anne and I don't need that time. Anne and I are fine the way that we are. Your father's right. We had nothing but each other. Things are different now than when you were young. You go in there and you tell Anne everything's going to be okay. She's scared. You want me to go in there and tell her that as long as we have each other, that's enough? I can't do that. You want mom to do it? Like when she had to break up with Katie Carlson for you? Oh, that's Somebody funny. had to do that. I mean, the poor girl just kept calling and... Well, you can't just swoop in and fix everything. You see, you're learning something already. Maybe we should help them. <laughs> you have to let him grow up. I know, but life can be so harsh. Diane, he went to private school, then Cornell. He lives in one of the most expensive neighborhoods in New York. Life hasn't been too bad for Danny boy. It's time to let him go.
seem empty. tomorrow and it'll feel like home. I need to go to bed. Okay. I'll join you later. This, what, um, how many uh, square feet is it? Um, I want to say, well, I mean, it's big, right? Okay, I'll put it, it's big. So, that's like, right, we'll, we'll come back to that one. What, um, how many bedrooms, how many baths? Okay, this I know. Four bedrooms, four, five? Five and a half baths? People like their big houses. Yeah. You know what I like? I like my apartment in New York City, but... Yeah, but you get spread out here. You got walk-in closets. Mm hmm Yeah, well, in New York, you can walk wherever you want. To Bloomingdale's I'm not being Central held Park. prisoner here. You're free to go wherever you want. Yeah, if I want to get in the car and drive for miles and miles. Yeah, well, I'm gonna leave that off the listing. Spin it, make it sound more attractive. Big house, green space, free parking, just miles away. I mean, who wouldn't want to live here? You're built? I don't know why you're asking me these questions. People know those things. Do they? Oh, so when was your parents' house built? 19... 1940. Okay. You know, we should have come back more to visit. Well, you were busy. We were busy. They enjoyed visiting us in the city. Yeah. Uh, I need to take some pictures. Hey, what's in this locked room? What? Where's the key to this locked room? We don't have a locked room. Then why is this door locked to this room? Huh. Anything's in there. Okay, let's see. Aha. Okay. Chicken. What's in there? What do you think it is? I don't know. That's a lot of wine. How much do you think it's worth? I didn't know there was so much. My parents would bring back a case with them every time they went away. These are like their memories. Do you think they ever had it appraised? I don't know. Last night, and I just want to say welcome, and it's so good to have you back. 
Yeah, no, I'm not that. We're just here to sort out the house and get things in order. Thanks for stopping by. You probably by. don't remember me. I was a year behind you in school, Sherry Robbins. It's Barry now. And this is Stella. Oh, yeah, OK. Oh, yes. Yeah, I had a flower, but Stella kind of helped herself to a little snack along the way. Of course she did. Friday nights, the guys go play baseball and us girls. That's great. Well. That sounds so cool. Thank you. I'm just gonna. You know, your mother used to talk about you all the time. She did? What did she say? She said that they wouldn't be able to open the museum doors if it weren't for you. Aww. Well, I'm sure they'll do just fine, but I'll miss them. We have museums here. Yeah, I will be sure to check those out. If you know of anyone looking to buy a house, just... Oh, you're selling the house? Yeah, well, Dan and I live in New York, so... Well, no, of course, it's just it's such a beautiful place. No, it should sell pretty quickly, then. Uh, water it once a weekend, if you... Call me if you need anything. I don't understand why we can't just hire an agent. I'm capable of putting a sign up in the yard. Rob said as soon as they put a sign up, they got an offer. Right, so somebody just bought a house without looking at it? it happens every day. It's always market. You're a natural. Yeah. A charming colonial nestled in a quiet tree lot. Four bedrooms, five and a half baths, perfect for children, plenty of storage and generous closet space. A wonderful place to raise a family. This is amazing. You know, we just, we just wanted something out a little bit so that the boys would have plenty of space to play. Do you have children? Oh, yeah, boys, four and seven. They'll love it. This place is great for little ones. We have a huge backyard. Um, they can build tree houses, forts. Um, the schools around here are Top notch. Perfect. I thought we agreed on that. Uh, here's oh. a flyer. Thank you. And yeah. how much money? That's what you're thinking about? Hi. Hi. So when would you be looking to move in? Uh, about a month from now. Do you guys uh, ever entertain? We've had some really wonderful parties yeah. here. We love it. It's a fantastic house. Can I ask why you're selling? Uh, I'm for, we're moving. Mm -hmm. Oh. Work. Oh. We'd, uh, Stay here forever if we could. Yeah. What was that in there? They don't want to hear a sad story. They want happy. And only if it pertains to them. Right, so we're moving for work. I didn't say for work. I said we're moving, which we hopefully will, and work, which it will be. Mm -hmm. People were going through all my things. I feel so violated. I told you you need to get rid of more of your stuff. I packed up like half of our stuff already. No one can imagine themselves living here with your junk all over the place. My junk? My junk. you can put in storage. See? It's easy. Obviously, you didn't need it. I can drop it off at Goodwill. You'll never miss it. Yeah. You're probably right. Whatever you think is best. Do you know what? Happened to my clothes or my toothbrush? You know, I, I was decluttering yesterday and I, I may have accidentally put your things in the box labeled John. I see what you did there. Well played. I just have to go get him out of storage. Oh, you uh, didn't take him by the Goodwill? Lucky for you, I didn't. That's interesting. I still have a toothbrush. Mm -hmm. The house down the street's old. I just, like, don't get it. Ours is bigger. Well, I met a real estate agent today, and she said she'd come by and take a look. Where'd you meet a real estate agent? On the phone. It's just a, a favor. She's going to give us a couple tips. 
fingertips are worth 6%? I think we listen to what she has to say, and if we don't like it, we just say thank you. We'll tell her I'm not signing anything. I gotta go get my clothes. I like it. It has good bones. It has potential. I could sell this house all day long. Yeah, that's what I thought, but we haven't gotten a nibble. Not like it is. You need to sexy it up a bit. The house is fine. It's plenty sexy. It needs new paint, lose the wallpaper, and this wall has got to go. People love an open floor plan. I'm sure they do, but you're talking about a major remodel. Then lower the price, dramatically. We've had a lot of lookers, we just haven't found the right person. Lookers, that's it. The outside of the house isn't too bad, it needs a fresh coat of paint. But once you get them inside, you lose them. The house needs extensive work. Extensive? I mean, it's outdated. The light fixtures, the carpet, the appliances, they're old. They're classic. I can sell it as is, but you need to drop the price at least 100 grand. Okay, okay, well, you know, thank you so much for coming. This has been great. We're just gonna have a little chat and I'll give you a Go call. look at the new houses. That's your real competition. All right, thank you. Bye. Our competition? Mm -hmm. Her husband's probably a contractor. No, no, he's a plastic surgeon. She doesn't need to look. Right. Hey, Mr. Carl. Carl. Yeah. Dan, nice to meet you. Um, I just like a bit on a few minor cosmetic things. We're trying to sell the house and uh -huh. we don't want to sink a bunch of money into it. Just freshen it up. First thing I do is lose the seashell. Okay. And change out the stairs. Update the spindles. Lighting fixtures. Um. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot. You got to tear out all that wallpaper and get some new bathroom fixtures and sconces. We just want to paint. Yeah. Well, if you put makeup on your grandma, you think I'd go out with her? <laughs> you got to do the work first, then the coat of paint. Well, thank you for this and uh, the analogy. Um, that was very helpful, Carl. All right. OK, let me tell you exactly what I'm interested in. Uh, I just want paint and maybe some new light fixtures. I want to bid for just that. OK, on the entire house? Uh, just the main floor. Just the main floor. You don't know the approximate square footage? No. All right, do you mind if I measure real quick? Yep. Perfect. Yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Why'd you do that? I thought he looked efficient. Hmm. You know? I have a good feeling about the next one. He uh, sounded professional on the phone. I think you're right. Do the bare minimum and let the buyers remodel with their own style. Oh, uh, well, this was more than I wanted to pay, but I, I think we could make this work if you could start Monday. <laughs> That's the deposit. And I can't start for another eight weeks. <laughs> so as soon as you're ready, call with your credit card. Uh, we'll get you on the books. OK, man, thanks. Appreciate it. This. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Would you like it? I hold a paintbrush. How hard could it be? So you went through that whole list of contractors and none of them were up to your standards? I thought I saw a spark with the last guy. Doesn't matter. You can't start for two months. Wow, you think he'd just be waiting for your call? No, you saw them. Yeah, I thought that second guy looked pretty good. I could paint my own house. I've never seen you paint anything. 
just get a few buckets of paint, and we do the work. We'll save all that money that we'd pay a contractor. You just said I can paint my own house, and now we're painting it? Well, it's half yours. If you paint your half, I'll paint mine. Not a good idea. It's called DIY for a reason, because it's easy to do yourself. Right, we used to call maintenance to change a light bulb. Oh. Doesn't mean we can't do this. Yeah, I think that's exactly what that means. Chips. We just need to set expectations. Mm-hmm. We'll treat it like a startup, right? Job descriptions, a schedule, and a mission statement. All right. If I were to agree to this, I would have to be in charge of all design decisions. You know, for obvious reasons. It's harsh, but okay. You can have design. That means I get budget. Okay, the house. Yeah. Our goal is to Fix sell it. it. Close enough. Okay. To do that, yeah. we need to paint foyer. All right. If we paint the foyer, then what's the foyer? The foyer in that. Oh, the foyer. Thing. I kind of think we need to paint all the areas that touch it, you know, because it just kind of feels wrong not to do that. I mean, I don't think it's wrong. Just because you think something doesn't mean it's law. Really? Because it's sort of written right there that I'm in charge of the design. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so... Do, 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 do. Light fixtures. Not all light fixtures. We'll replace the light fixtures in the foyer <laughs> and... Yeah. We'll start there. Okay. I'm in charge of the budget, after all. You are. Take down wallpaper. What? Why? We need to do that. That's the only thing on the list that doesn't cost anything. What about replacing it? I don't have to. It's just paint. Okay. All right, what about the floors? Mm, too much. We'll just leave that to the buyers. They can do whatever they want with it. Okay. All right, well, since we're saving so much money, I think we could update this kitchen just a little bit. Once we finish these, and if we're still on schedule, mm. we can make some small updates to the kitchen, okay? Okay. All right. Oh, I feel good about this. Yeah. Yeah. under those lights. Do hey, you have a spray bottle? Uh, under the sink? Wow. It's like starting really is the hardest part, huh? I didn't know where the spray bottle was. Spray bottle. Nice. Water will soak in, it should loosen the glue. They're all white. What? No, they're, they're all different shades. They all look exactly alike to me. Look how clean this one is, right? But it's not too stark. And this one has a lot of depth with like a little hint of gray. And this one is clean and crisp, but I feel like it might be a little bit too cool. And this one is calm, quiet, and reflective. What do you think? I th think that I don't care we're selling it. That's all you care about, isn't it? You don't actually care about the house because all you do is complain about it. I thought that this was the whole plan, to sell so we could go back to our lives in New York. Right, so you admit it. You never actually cared about what my parents wanted at all. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, this, 
This clearly isn't about the paint, is it? This is about the paint. And, I mean, that's what you think your parents would have wanted? Some, like, crispy white with a little hint of gray? It's paint. Like, let's just choose one. Maybe I could have them mix those two. What do you think? Yeah, that's good. Will you help me carry this? What? Why do we need to do that? I just, I don't want to run the risk of, like, getting paint on it, and then you'll blame me. We'll wait until the paint dries, and then we'll just bring it back down. OK? OK. All right, lift with your legs, not your back. OK. One, two. Yeah. Oh, that's heavy. Yes. All, All right, watch your step. Just. Just one at a time. Yeah. Take it slow. Uh-huh. Got it? Yeah. On the side here, this, that, you should do it N like that, too. No, I don't want to. You all right? Yeah. Hold it like how I'm holding it. All right, you rotate, please. You have to rotate. <laughs> okay. Okay, you need to rotate. Take it slow. Uh-huh. Okay, let's bring it back down. Let's try it again. Oh, it's stuck. You think? <laughs> Just roll it on. It's so much faster this way. It's easy to use, and look at how much fun that guy's having. <sighs> I can't concentrate with all that noise. You know, we could have had the room done by now. Well, someone went to the trouble of writing it. The least I can do is read it. Well, if I run into him, I'll be sure to tell him you enjoyed it. OK, the first thing we need to do is make sure the paint is thin enough. You're going to give us a thick paint. We just have to pour it through this little screen. Do you need some? No, I'm OK. There it goes. OK. Oh, sorry. That's why we moved the couch. Sorry. Um, why don't you get the rags separate? How are we doing? Some more rags. Um... figure out what's wrong. We'll have to take it in and have it rewired. How'd they just come out here? Oh, it's cheaper if we take them in their shop. Here, um, take this up to the attic okay. and loosen the bolt. Do you have your phone? Uh, yeah, got it. OK, I'm ready. OK, me too. Um... Yep, I got it, and I am starting. Hold okay, on. Just keep going. Get ready. For some reason, the wrong chandelier is lying in the middle of the room.
man, can you come here? What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? You know there's already glue on it. You're just supposed to like wet the paper. You bought paste? Yeah, for the wallpaper upstairs because the ends are curling. Oh, that would have been useful information. Wow, well, you always read the directions. Uh... <laughs> can you hear me that? Uh-huh. Go slow. Go slower. I am. Yeah, if you were, I wouldn't have said anything. Oh. See all those floating? Yeah, that means she's full. It's probably gonna take a while. Dad? Dad? In the cellar. Oh, I can't believe you're doing this right now. Doing what? You know, if you cared about me just like a ninth of what you care about this wine collection. It's a very specific percentage. It's a fraction. I don't understand what my interest in wine has to do with my relationship to you or the house. We could have just sold it, you know, and hired a contractor or gone on a vacation or something. Yeah, but then the money would be gone. Here it sits, getting more valuable. Oh, really? You mean like... Stop. What are you doing? And? Really good wine, right? It's very mature. Well, what's mine is yours. That bottle was over $200. You just cost yourself 100 bucks. No. Well, what about... Uh-huh. Oh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um... Anne? This one seems like a better... Don't. That's very expensive. Anne? Anne? Let me think about... Stop. Stop. No! No! Still available. Uh, it is, yeah. Great. Can I bring them by? I think it would be perfect for them. They're just on top of the weekend, but they need something that's ready to move in. Uh, does tomorrow morning work? Uh, we just have like a a couple of few little things that we need to finish. How about I give you a call when it's ready? Great. Thanks. Bye. Okay. I think I got a glass in my hand. This happen. In the wine cellar. When did 
this happen? Somewhere between we ran out of money and me having my head down the septic tank. That's fair enough. So the house looks worse than when we started. <laughs> <laughs> Do I wish we had hired a contractor? Yes. Do I realize that DIY does not mean easy? Yes. I'm trying my best. I have no idea what I'm doing, though. Well, it's not like I've had the best judgment. I've ended up with a pool of wine in the cellar and a piece of glass stuck in your hand. Sorry. For everything. I'll tell you what. How about tomorrow? We start afresh and we'll write a list of all the things that we need to get done. And this time, we do them together. Sounds good to me. Yeah. What happened with the septic tank? Oh, you do not want to know. It was bad. <laughs> it was really bad. What is happening? <laughs> you might want to stand back while I do this. Sooner. Where do you think the oven should go? Maybe on that wall over there. Oh, I was seeing it over there. Um, well, if we get another window, and instead of a cooktop, we get a range. Oh, then you lose a triangle. Hey, what? Refrigerator, sink, stove, they need to be in close proximity. That way you're not all over the kitchen while you're cooking. So then we need to move the refrigerator. Well, we just need another sink. Okay. So you want to replace all the appliances? Well, I don't want to, but if we replace the oven, it feels kind of wrong not to, right? Oh, it's definitely going to take a lot more time. Yeah, and then we have to get new countertops. Countertops? Well, that one has a hole for the cooktop. We can't very well have a hole in our island. Well, you do say redoing your kitchen adds value to your house. Exactly. Wow, there are so many. You sure we need a new refrigerator? Yeah, I mean, ours is so outdated. Hey, look, this one makes coffee. We already have a coffee pot. Ooh, this has a TV. Huh. Ooh, that's not just a TV. This does everything. I mean, you could see this from anywhere. Why would you want to see your fridge? Well, I don't know at the store, and I don't know if we need, like, milk or bread or whatever. I could just look on my phone and have to call you. Well, I always liked when you'd call. You always ask what else I wanted. Well, now you could just stick it on this family hub. See, I just like the simple ones that keep your food cold. They know what they are. They're not trying to be anything else. I think that's important in a kitchen appliance. What are you, like, a thousand years old? It's cold technology. Now we need our fridge connected to Wi-Fi next our toaster. Hmm. OK. Let's keep looking. What are you doing? Hmm. What are you doing? It's the balusters of the couch. Haley, we can save it? Sure. I like this color. It's calm and reflective.
appreciate all our hard work. What if it was us that lived here? You mean if it doesn't sell? Yeah. I mean, if it doesn't sell, would it be so bad? I mean, that was the whole point of the remodel. Yeah, I know, but I mean, people can change their mind, right? People can, but we can't. We don't really have that luxury. We overspent because you were so sure that we would make it all back. Yeah, I know, but I just don't know if I want to anymore. I get it. I mean, it felt like summer vacation. We had fun. And now it feels a little bittersweet to leave, but you're gonna get back home and you're gonna be happy to be there and realize how much you missed it. I don't know, it's not just the house, you know. It's, it's us. Don't you feel like we're better here? We're gonna go home and everything will just go back to the way it was. And you'll get busy with work and we won't really find time to be together. I'm sorry, I can't retire. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it would be nice to have options, you know. Yeah, well, our only option is to come up with a price that we are both happy with, and if it sells, it sells, and if it doesn't, we'll cross that bridge when it comes. Just nosy neighbors, no one's serious. You can't move, we already ordered your jersey. Well, Fred said he'd take his place. Guess we got a replacement. I don't love Jeff. Well, I hope you never sell it. Just because we moved doesn't mean we won't come back to visit, right? Yeah, I'd hate to break them up. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Lisa. I have got good news. I've got a full price offer on your house. You More pressure, please. Uh, yeah, they were at your open house before their model. And they liked it? No, they hated it. Uh, it doesn't matter, they're tearing it down. What? No, they can't tear it down. No, they can. They can do whatever they want. They have enough money to do it. Uh, wait, do they at least want to come over and have a look at it? I mean, it's it's absolutely perfect now. They're knocking it down to build like four more houses. What? Why? Real estate is high. I mean, that's a lot of land for just one house. I will have them start the paperwork. And I'm sure Dan will be thrilled by the news. Yeah, uh, I'm sure. Okay, thanks. I guess we'll cross that bridge. You okay? Yeah. Um, I was just remembering when I was a girl. At night I would hear my mom laugh. Sneak downstairs and see my parents playing cards with their friends, and it kind of reminds me of us. Makes it feel like home. Yes. How's Anne? Great. Suburbs seem to agree with her. Good for her. So, uh, what was so important that you couldn't tell me over the phone? Well, I, I could have, but I didn't want to. Okay. What didn't you want to tell me? It's over. The lawsuit's over. We won? No. And you wanted to tell me this in person? It's not about losing. It's about where we go from here. I need you to dig deep. <laughs> a few months ago, I would have thought, yeah, I can make this work, but we lost everything. We lost the place, the boat. I played baseball on Friday nights. That's temporary. You'll be living on Madison Avenue again, this time in a penthouse, if we tweak the design. Yeah, we don't have any money to hire someone to do it. 
there's got to be some way, someone that's out there. Just think about all the people out there who are taking meetings, trying to get people to invest in their idea, their product, their life streams. Then why not us? I don't know about you, but I put too much into this to not see it through. I can't. I wish I could. I have a house now. They told me if I did a little work, sexy it up, it would sell because nobody wanted it the way it was. And now I have this sexy house and it still won't sell. Just think about it. Talk to Anne. Anne doesn't even know I came here today. She wants me to find a safe job. What about you? I want to finish what we started. I just don't know how. When you look back on a day, five, 10 years from now, what do you think you'll wish you would have done? Are you asleep? Talk to Alan. About what? Oh, we can talk about it in the morning. Did him and Celia get back together? I don't think so. He didn't ask. He um wants us to give it another try. And what did you tell him? I, t I told him that even if I wanted to, which I don't, um, I couldn't, it wouldn't happen, you know? It's not even a question. Yeah, that's what I said. I can't believe that he would ask you after everything. Just forget about it. I have. Right. Maybe if the household, but who knows when that'll happen. I'm good. How are you? I hope you're calling to say you're going to be here for the fundraiser on Sunday because I could really use your help. No, that's not it. You remember when you said that I needed to tell Dan what he wants? Did I say that? We got an offer on the house, but I haven't told him because I don't want to sell it. Oh, what should I do? Oh, what did Dr. Julia say? I can't afford Dr. Julia anymore. That's why I called you. Are you sure that's where you should be cutting back? We put every cent into the house. We borrowed on credit cards, but it's lovely. You should really come visit. You have to tell him. You can't keep this a secret. It's not a secret. It's like a delayed telling. What are you waiting for? I don't know until he wants the same thing I do. You don't want him to stay because you make him, do you? No. Tell him. And next time I'm charging. Bye. Oh, it's Lisa. Hmm. She looks kind of busy. I think that we should just, um, really. Hey! Hi! Hi! I am so glad I bumped into you. I would love to sit down and revisit exactly what we needed to do to make this deal happen. Thanks. Yeah, we were just heading out, so I'm what? gonna give you a call and we'll... Uh, I'm sorry, what deal? The offer on the house. You know the, the thing that we were talking about? Uh, I would like to revisit it. Great! Uh, I'm on my way to a showing. Just call the office and set up an appointment. Okay, we'll see you later. <laughs> Thank you. Bye! Um, I forgot, uh... She called when we had company and said that we had an offer on the house. We got an offer and you just forgot to tell me? It's not the right one, okay? Trust me. 
It was too low? No. Was it asking price? No, I think that we priced the house too low and we should raise the price. I'm gonna live here forever. You want to tear down the house? Yeah, they can do whatever they want with it. That's what happens when you sell something. You no longer have say as to how someone uses it. You said that we didn't want to sell it to anyone that didn't appreciate it. I was kidding. That was a joke. But so you don't actually care about the house or us? You just want to get back? Back to what? Back to our lives. Back to our friends. We loved it there. Did we? Have you heard from any of them since we left? Yeah. Alan doesn't count, he wants money. Okay, people are busy. Yeah, I know. Fine, we'll get better friends. You're not listening, you never listen. How can I listen when you forget to give me important information that could change my life? Because I knew what you would say and I wasn't ready. You're not ready to come back, you're not ready to leave? It's impossible to keep up with you. Were you ever gonna tell me? Of course, she just beat me to it. And pay off the credit cards, maybe even reconsider Alan's proposal. It just makes sense. We don't know when we'll get a full price offer again. Place. The thought of someone just tearing it down and dividing it into lots? The money just doesn't seem so important anymore. Yeah, well, people with money can afford to say money isn't important, but then the credit card bills come, then what? I just think we should reevaluate, look deeper. Again, those are all great words. What about these? Great fees, interests, collections? You know, I don't know, I guess I thought that if I stayed away from here that I could just, like, avoid all of these feelings. But the more time that we spend here, like, surrounded by all these memories, I've just never felt closer to them. That's great. Now you can box up those memories and you can bring them with you wherever we go. Maybe a reasonable walk up, maybe a penthouse. What? They're memories. It's not like they're actually here, are they? <laughs> oh, no, they're not supposed to be here yet. Yeah, they called. They said they were coming early. You didn't tell me? I guess I forgot. All right. <sighs> I don't know how you're going to leave this kitchen. And they'd have to carry me out of here. <laughs> oh. This onion. I love everything about it. The wood, the marble, the windows. I mean, of course I want to stay. You think I did all this for someone else? Well, have you told Danny? Yeah, but I don't know. He's just so desperate to get back to New York to our real lives, you know? But this is your house. I know. And you know, it's not just the house, it just feels like we're so much better here. Oh, Anne. <laughs> <laughs> when men get to be a certain age, they start assessing what they've done and what they haven't. Yeah, but I mean, we're still so young. I know, but he's afraid he's not gonna accomplish everything he thought he would. And I don't wanna hold him back in any way, it's just, you know, the thought of living here and never coming back is really hard. Mm -hmm. Sweetheart, I know how much this house means to you. Yeah. But what's really important is what you keep here. Yeah. <laughs> My pretty girl. Let's make dinner. Yes, okay. That was good, yeah. So I found out today that we have an offer on the house. Oh, that's great news. Well, I don't know. You know that little room at the top of the stairs? Sure would make a nice nursery with plenty of room to grow. <laughs> we can't afford to grow, Mom. 
the plan was to fix it up and sell it. Yeah, and Dan needs to get back to Manhattan. I can't seem to get on with that on there. Well, plans can change, sweetheart. Yeah, Danny's right. A big house like this, the, the, the upkeep alone. Well, we did it, the whole remodel. <sighs> You did a great job. It's just beautiful. Yeah, but you don't want the ongoing responsibility of a, of a big house like this. That's why there are rentals for people like you. You own a home? Well, it fit us. We had kids. We liked it. The schools, the yards, the friends. We have friends. I actually made some pretty great friends out of you. Oh, I'm sure you have. You were always very popular. Yeah, I think Dan just needs to get back there so we can feel more... Productive, you know, we can go to meetings and. Well, it's not just that. You have the museum. Yeah, it's true. I'm just gonna get some tea. Excuse me. You guys want some more coffee? I know. Well, that was quite a performance. What? I hope you know what you're doing. Well, I can't tell him what to do anymore, but I can still challenge him. Mm-hmm. It's not just me. I want this for you. I know that I let you down before, and I need to make it up to you. He didn't let me down. I knew that it just happened. I thought it would work. Well, you were following your heart. Yeah, well, obviously I shouldn't have. I should have known better. Well, I don't want you to stop doing that, so I think that we need to take the offer on the house. No, no, we're not going to take the offer on the house. It's okay. I think I'm ready. You sure? Yeah. All right. So we have decided to take the offer on the house. Yeah. You, you what? You were right. We don't need a house this big, not for the two of us. Oh, but the yard. Well, I mean, Central Park is beautiful, and we don't have to look after it. But the, the rentals are, are hard to find, and, and they're expensive. That is fine. You're right. <laughs> you shouldn't listen to me. <laughs> like, you guys must be really tired. I already put your stuff up in the guest room, so. Oh, okay. Cool. Thank you. you're happy. I didn't do anything. You were so sure. I know, my son. I thought for sure he'd want to prove me wrong. Look, why don't we just give them the money so that they don't have to sell the house? I can't. I already said I wouldn't. Then say you were wrong, you made a mistake, and write them the check. Alan thinks we can tweak the design a little bit. You mean start all over? Well, since they filed their patent first, we have to use different technology. Right, but they're already established as the leaders in telepresence. Their target is large companies. We need to change that. Well, there has to be a need. Well, sometimes people don't know their needs until you tell them what's possible. What about the price? We can lower the price if we're selling to the masses. Yeah, I mean, people do that all the time with designers, right? So we tweak the design. Yeah. And make it affordable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sounds easy, right? Mm hmm. All right, cool. Well, I'll, um, I'll call Lisa in the morning and we can go over the paperwork. Okay, then it's settled. We're going to Canetto's next time you're in. It's all all right, fair enough. Yeah. Your dad has something he needs to tell you. Ah, <sighs> if you still need the money, we could loan it to you. Thank you, Dad, but uh, you were right. We needed to grow up. I think um, we got it all figured out. 
Well. Okay. Yeah. All right. We're out of here then. Okay. Call me. Of course. We'll let you know when we get there. As soon as you do, please. Thanks for coming. Yeah. It's nice to know we have a backup plan. Yeah. Look at a ton of these wines in the cellar at home. Just mark them up a ton. Hey, can we not talk about money tonight? Remember, we're celebrating. All right. Have you all made a selection? Um, what about this Grand Cru? Is, it, is that any good? Montrachet Grand Cru is considered among the best Chardonnays in the world. Look at about all of that. Fine choice. Do you mind if I ask how much that is? Hey, we're not talking about money tonight. Well, I'm just curious. We have a lot of these in the cellar at home. Oh, we do? Yeah, before, you know, the ones that you throw on the floor. Uh -huh. You threw Montrachet Grand Cru on the floor. Yeah. She was trying to get my attention. <laughs> well, I hope you got his attention, ma'am. It's a thousand dollars a bottle. You know what, we're actually gonna just get the house Chardonnay. Certainly. A thousand dollars. He called me ma'am. You're definitely not a ma'am. Thank you. Um, how many of those bottles do you think we have? Did you get them inventory? I stopped once you started throwing them on the ground. I had no idea that my dad actually knew what he was doing. We should sell them. Absolutely not. Yeah. No, it's OK. It's fine. I mean, they're just bottles. And besides, they were my parents' memories, not ours. Son, good to hear from you. Dad, I think I messed up. Aunt said she was fine with moving back, but now... Danny, you can't just listen to what she says. You have to listen to what she doesn't say. She says she wants me to finish what I started, but I, I don't know how to do that. Well, and stay. she wants you to be happy. But have you thought about what she needs? Let me tell you something that it's taken my whole life to learn. You'll never be happier than she is. Ellen and I have invested so much. We've spent so much time on this, it's hard to let go. And the money... If we don't sell the house... It... You might think you're getting what you want, but it's not worth it. I don't know what to do. Trust me. You'll figure it out. Or you won't. Thanks, Dad. I gotta go. Yeah. Okay. I don't want you to sell it. Uh, she's already sold it. She changed her mind. I've already paid for it. Uh, well, you can go get a refund. I don't want a refund. I want the desk. Okay, I don't know why you want this piece of junk. It's falling apart. Fine. Sorry. What are you doing? Do you remember that night? When you said if I cared as much about you and the house as that wine collection, things would be different. Yeah, I was kind of hoping to forget that. Okay, I may not always show it, but I care more about you than I do anything. More than my work, where we live, and certainly more than a wine collection. This was your family's house, and now it's yours. Keep it, sell it, board it up, turn it into a museum, whatever you want to do with it. And when you're really ready, if you're ever ready, you'll know. It's not about the house or any of this stuff. It's about you and me. I just don't want to be one of those couples that puts everything before one another. And then 30 years from now, we're sitting in front of one another, just staring at our food. Neither do I. Then we're 
wherever we are. It's okay. We'll work it out together. Telepresence brings the human experience to any remote location. Imagine being able to participate in activities taking place thousands of miles away. You see, you don't need to be confined to your location. Your potential should not be limited to where you live. This is so much more than video conferencing. You'll no longer be tied to your physical office. It brings the freedom to live the life you dream. I love the color palette. Such freedom and abandon. I could admire it all day. But I can't because Daddy's waiting for us. One, two, three. I want to run to the edge of the universe. Bring back a star that you deserve. Find my way back home. Find my way back home. I want to drive all night underneath the moon. Racing to the sun that'll be here soon. Find my way back home, find my way back home to you. I would go 